are fully capable of deciding your own destiny. The question you face is, which path will you choose? What's up guys? So we're back again with another video, and today I wanted to film a day in the life of a medical student. I'm currently now in my third year, and I'm not too sure if you guys are familiar with the UK medical school system, but some of us are really lucky in our third year, and we get to do something called an IBSC. And IBSC stands for an Intercalated Bachelor of Science, and so in that year, we're allowed to really focus in on one area that we like. So I focus in on cardiovascular sciences, because I'm really passionate about the heart. So compared to pre-clinical years, um, where your schedule's really packed with lectures and things like that, um, my schedule now is a lot more spaced out. So instead of filming just one day, I decided to film a week and show you guys snippets of that. Alright guys, so it's currently half past 8 and I'm on my way to my 9am lectures now. So the first lecture is on functional imaging of the heart, which should be pretty useful for my dissertation project. And I'll tell you guys about that later. And then the second lecture is on uh, heart failure, which should be pretty interesting as well. So, follow me on there. I just came back from coffee, had some lunch at home, and now I'm actually gonna head off to the library. So um, follow me on there, and I can show you guys the kind of work that I get up to during the week. So I'm currently in the library working on a poster presentation that's happening in two weeks. It's one of the assessments for term one for the heart and circulation module. And so for the presentation, we were divided into groups, and we have to try and explain papers given to us and critically appraise them. The topic assigned to my group was stem cell exosomes and their role in cardiac repair. When you think of the use of stem cells in the heart, you might think that we could just make heart tissue and implant it, but this isn't really the case. What really is providing benefits for the patients are these tiny vesicles called exosomes. And so after reviewing these papers, we have to produce a poster like you see here. This is an example made by past students, and hopefully we can make something that's just as good as this. Alright guys, so it's day 3 now in the week and we're actually in the lab um, for congenital hearts which is based on the lecture that we had yesterday so it's really cool we get to look at the examples of hearts
anatomy. We need to know the anatomy of congenital heart disease, and that will help you to understand uh, the treatment, you know, treatment, and the surgery of congenital heart disease. Okay. Thanks, mate. All right. So one of the assessments for the congenital heart module is a case report. The heart that I'm looking at has an aorto-pulmonary window, which is basically a hole between the aorta and the pulmonary artery. For the case report, I have to examine my specific heart and explain any defects in it using a segmental sequential analysis. After that, I will discuss the treatments that are available for it, so I have to read around the topic by reading papers and research on it. So it's Friday, which means it's the last day of the week, and I don't have any lectures on or anything, so I'm just going to be studying at home, and then um, actually going out for lunch, and then maybe some shopping because it's actually Black Friday, and it's also my birthday, so I'll be doing things to celebrate that later on in the day. But I'll film some of uh, the studying that I'll be doing first, and uh, I'll show you the rest of the things later. So for the congenital heart module, um, they actually gave us some notes, which are pretty useful, and they come with some diagrams. Um, and this is actually pretty rare for the medical school because since there's so many medical students, it's hard for them to print out notes for us. But since now that we're really focusing on different areas and things like that, um, the university can really look after us. And so that's why we have some really good notes. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is my dissertation project. I'm really fortunate and I'm doing a project under a pediatric cardiac surgeon whom I really look up to and two other amazing mechanical engineering postdocs, and another really great postdoc who specializes in cardiovascular sciences. I've learned that research is a huge team effort, and I'm learning a lot under these amazing people. So for my project, I'm actually examining children's hearts with a particular defect, which means there's only one working ventricle. So I'll be 3D printing the heart with this particular defect and measuring certain variables using a 4D MRI, which sounds pretty cool, but I'm still in the process of learning a lot about this. So although there's a lot more I wanna say, that wraps up my week as a third year medical student, and I hope you guys enjoy the video.